Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to talk professional wrestling. The WWE Raw Variety, to be exact. And also with me, helping me out, helping me stay awake, helping me talk about uh, tactical fashion statements, as was showcased in the main event tonight, is the only Mayhemer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. So are, are we gonna have to go to Australia? Are we? Why are we gonna have to go to Australia? Cause, cause, cause one time only. One time only. You know, I missed or, a lot of one la- time only. Or, or last time ever. Last or, time yeah. ever. You know, and they can always put the asterisks on this continent. Well, they they already have an asterisk in place. Last time ever, in one on one competition. Oh, that's the asterisk. Oh the asterisk. no! Oh, oh no. yeah. You know, you know, this is gonna be this other cover. You know, this is gonna be like how we had Sting and Triple H, and everybody was involved. I'm sure Saudi Arabia is gonna love all of Shawn Michaels' Jesus talk. <laughs> I don't. No, I'm what? sure they're gonna love it. No, no, this was Australia. Yeah, I know. Wait. <laughs> See you in Saudi, guys. Anyways, it was Raw. It was Tactical Vest. It is Shield versus New Shield, sort of. Um, but you know what I want, Mike? You know what I got out of tonight? And I think I would be excited if I got it. That if someone bet you that Rockstar Spo would be in the main event of Raw before EC3, you would have lost? Okay, there's that, too. Did we do that? Did we do that on the, on the end of the year predictions? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Know. I don't know, but... I wouldn't have taken that bet. No, 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 no. But there he was. There he was. Uh, Tina's in the chat room from Seattle. I understand Raw's coming your way next week. Uh, Brandon from the KC, who watched football tonight. Okay, that's probably a good you, choice. You both have made smarter and wiser <laughs> decisions than we. You, yes. Yes. You guys should start a podcast of things I did instead of watching Raw. <laughs> That'd be great. It'll just be the two of you guys hosting, and you let us know how the normal life is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, what is, is what is raw? What, what is, is raw? What is life? What is the meaning of life and raw? Uh, but anyways, so though I got a peek at something that I, I, you know, maybe it would solve some of these these issues you've been having with certain uh, individuals in certain uh, black and uh groups. Uh, Dean and Drew, can I get a D and D tag team? No. Oh, why? Come on. No. They're kind of the on man out of uh, their their yeah, thing. Yeah, well, then again, every man is odd in that one group. Every man is the odd man out. <laughs> because Braun is a natural face mm-hmm. posing as a heel. Mm-hmm. Dolph Ziggler is a natural comedian posing as a wrestler. Drew McIntyre <laughs> still has to get his NXT title rematch. Yeah. Well, you know. Exactly. Well, that's never going to happen. No. Roman no. Reigns is a natural heel posing as a face. Mm-hmm. And The Shield are three single wrestlers posing as a faction. Right. This is the first time they've actually had a six man tag. It's been over a month since they reformed. Yeah, but they're just sticking up for each other. And there's some brawls in the entire like locker room beating them up and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I, I don't know. Well, how do you feel about the revival coming back to Raw straight to, into a title shot? To job. To a title shot, though. To job. To remind us who the revival is. Hey, you know what? If the Shield were really these great guys and wanted to cause friction between Drew and Dolph, they would have cost Drew and Dolph the fucking titles. Yeah, they could have done that. <laughs> And we could actually have an actual tag team division as opposed to main event. Listen, listen. When you show that six man title, uh, that six man match at in Australia at the Super Show, it really kind of evens the picture out when you have two guys with titles and two guys with titles. 
No, it doesn't. Yes, it's a symmetry, and it goes with it. No, because all the tails are different colors. What do you think <laughs> about the Kevin Owens show returning? That was fine. That was good. Sure. Um, no, I mean, they're, they're promoting a feud without a quarter of the feud. Yeah, yeah. Well, Leo Rush is kind of like your... Uh, sir- he's, your he's John Cena. He's John Cena's Make-A-Wish um, contribution. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. So. Listen, I, okay, I'm not getting that. See, here's the thing. Like, how about just have Leo Rush wrestle? Uh, well, yeah. Novel, what? novel concept. Well, 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 what? Wrestle um, Elias and Bobby Lashley? Tag team match. Okay. Leo Rush and Lashley versus Elias and Kevin Owens. I feel like we're leading to that. Are we getting that next no, week? No, we're not. We're no, not getting that. We're getting, we're getting the other one. We're getting Owens versus Lashley next week. Mm-hmm. But they, they want to bring Cruiserweight to Raw, but they don't want to have him wrestle. Mm-hmm. Like. No, he's a Bobby manager. He, he's Bobby a very he, capable manager. Bobby Heenan had wrestling matches. Yeah, well, every once in a while. More often than you think. Mm. More often than you think. Maybe not. What, on what the era? Shows. What era are we talking about? I'm talking Heenan family. Okay. Okay. So yeah, but yeah, he did like Boston Gardens and things like that. He did the Weasel Suit gimmick um, uh, yeah. here and there, right? Yeah. That's what pretty we're much every about. house show Bobby Heenan wrestled. Really? Yeah. Mm. I, and and I will trust Mike on this because he has deep knowledge of the WWE yeah. catalog. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, he had a lot of matches. A lot of matches. Hmm. Remember, I mean, I'd love to see Leo Rush actually wrestle as opposed to being fucking Super Mario hopping around the ring. And I haven't seen uh, 205 Live, whether he's still popping up over there, because he was still involved in a feud on there. Yeah, and I think they just shelved it. Mm-hmm. And <sighs> Leo Rush is a good wrestler. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd love to see Kevin Owens try to throw him no. up for the pop-up bower bomb, and he throws a hurricane run out of it because Owens would sell the hell out of that. I'm trying to remember who he is. He's been in a he's been a feud, sort of a feud with uh, Noam Dar, actually. Uh, Noam Dar, and he also feuded with Tazawa a little that's bit. That's right. That's right. So they were building up him up a little bit. So I mean, we'll see what happens, but I, I, there might be a lot up the, up in the air over there. Yeah, a lot of women's action tonight. You had um, I did Alicia Fox like make a significant costume change because like I saw her, I, I I picked up watching uh, the Nia Jax match and I'm like, who's this local girl? Oh wait, it's Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox, the fashion icon. As she apparently is, and it's working for her. Yes. Uh, by the way, uh, Sorg, didn't you love all the stuff, all the cool stuff we got from our Raw Women's Champion tonight? Oh shit, where's she? Yeah, she wasn't there. Maybe she doesn't like. Where were they, Dallas? No, um, they were Detroit. No one knows where. I remember seeing. The, I, I don't know. Cincinnati, maybe. Cincinnati? No, it wasn't I don't Cincinnati. Know. It's too close. I don't know. They're in like Seattle um, next week. They're not. They're not on this side. Okay, but um, one thing I do have to mention about. The hey Siri, where was Raw? WWE Raw tonight? Okay. This works when the Steelers are playing. Mm, where was WWE Denver. Raw? They're in Denver. Denver. They're in Denver. That's the one I'm thinking. We, we that's closer. That's room. close to Seattle. We could just ask the chat rooms work. Yeah. Oh, yep. Actually, we we did. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, but, but we need to mention something about because uh, I I was looking at WWE's Maybe? website earlier today. Yes. For for reasons. Okay. Um. Meticulous. And, meticulous. Yeah. Mad Mike is a meticulous. Meticulous. I, Detail oriented WWE aficionado as if it's his job. I do the work. Yes. Um, I do the job, if you will. Um He does the job every day. The the original match like he's a part of a squad was Brie Bella versus Ruby Riot. In a singles match, it was announced on the website. Okay. Hashtag card subject to change. Uh hashtag Brie Bella, please stop wrestling. Because she almost gave poor Liv Morgan a concussion, I think. Mm. She was not paying attention when doing the yes kicks and kicked her right in the fucking head. And it was the most sloppy, careless thing I've ever seen. Mm. Like, I'm raw in a very long time. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think Mainstream Matt was calling out about it, too, tonight, too, right? 
Yeah, they and they even put a GIF, uh, like a video of it on the Instagram, and I'm like, do not put that on there. Like, yeah, like oh. it's well, because Bree was Bree was not paying attention, mm-hmm. and Liv was selling each kick, and then Bree just kicked her right in the fucking head. What she was just coming back. I didn't see the incident, um, but what she um, she was just like re, like what selling back, coming back, and and then she it just was got selling mistimed. each kick, and then yeah, Bree got her right in the. Right in the forehead, just mm-hmm. like a hard kick right in the forehead, and Liv was done for mm-hmm. the rest of the match. She practically had to be dragged over to the corner to tag out. Wow. Like, Liv was out. She was out. It was not good. Jeez. And, of course, there's not going to be any repercussions for us or anything. Because... No, because she has a show on E and she's up for a People's Choice Award and everything. Oh, like no, that. That, that's, that's Nikki. Uh, oh, was I. Nikki, I don't have an issue with. Nikki sometimes, is... sometimes I can't tell because they're twins. Uh, yeah, sure. There are twins involved. That's how you can tell the difference. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Boobs. Boobs. <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> but um, Brie needs to stop wrestling. Okay. No, Brie, because. Bree just needs to stop wrestling. Um, Bree like, seems it's, it's uh, fine. It's fine when she's in there with Maurice, and they're not actually doing spots. Tina's calling out that uh, uh, Bree seemed uh, rushed to get back into action. Well, obviously, yeah, because you can't just bring back Nikki Bella. It, it, it's like they're like, "OMG, we need everybody back for this evolution thing." Yeah, um, when, even when though, you say, and maybe when you was, say you have over fifty people, yeah, guess what? You have to fill out those numbers. And and and, and it's maybe not a good look going into this thing and and having, uh, you know, there was a, there was an article that was going around. I know about how uh, the Divas generation is not helping the women's evolution generation right now. No, like, the Bellas were the exact reason we needed more serious women's wrestlers. Mm -hmm. We were tired of them. Yeah, and to her credit, Nikki is fine. Mm -hmm. Nikki is fine. She's not the greatest wrestler by any stretch of the imagination. She's serviceable. Okay, I'll deal with that. That's fine. But Brie should have been strictly a managerial role. Mm-hmm. Strictly managerial role. Yeah, it seemed odd that they were getting the six man tonight and everything um, going into this. I just hope Liv Morgan's okay. Yeah, because... they, basically they had the six man tag minus Ronda Rousey. Yeah. That's that's weird. Because I'm yes, just like, you just gave us most of the match. Yeah, and... And they did this so that the Riot Squad could get an actual win. Mm -hmm. Because you're not going to have the Riot Squad be anyone. And they they got the the win on the one not in the big match, which is Natty. Um, So, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Natty is the one not teaming with Ronda at the Super Showdown. I want to call out something. Um, I kind of wish it was just Natty, Nikki, and Ronda. Versus the versus the Riot Squad with Bree as a manager. I want to call out that something. Great. I want to call out something not wrestling related tonight. Sure. I'm watching. Is it, is it Ravage? <laughs> no, we're not talking about the Bumblebee trailer. But oh my god, the Bumblebee trailer. Uh, anyways, sure that is that is on brand because John Cena is in the trailer. That is true. That is true. I'm sure we're going to be seeing plenty of it leading up to Christmas time. Anyways, um, I'm watching. Uh, I'm watching it and I'm paying extra attention because Elias is involved. Uh, and in our commercial break from the uh, Kevin Owens show leading into the match with Elias and Bobby Lashley, there was a commercial for um, a show on NBC called The Manifest, uh, basically the 4400 um, on a plane. Uh, but anyways, and so it was like, don't miss it, the first episode, and it started at 10 o'clock. It was like 9.58. So basically, mm-hmm. they ran a commercial on Raw. It, it was for NBC, so it was a sister channel to USA. But they ran a commercial on Raw to encourage you to flip the channel away from Raw to NBC. So if, if you know, further illustrating that Raw is a mechanism to get people to watch other things, look at the Jimmy Fallon commercials that have been having, happening in the last few weeks. Sorg, there there have been a lot of commercials for NBC shows on. on there the have past, been. In, there in the have past been. Um, but, you but can the, take but, my word on that. But 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 seeing that like Jimmy Fallon, 
has been doing drop-ins where he records, hey, raw fans, you know, like this is what's coming up on the on the show this week. You know, that's a very pointed thing, right? Mm-hmm. Or, hey, flip the channel. Forget Elias and Bobby Lashley. Come over and watch this show over here. So I mean, it might have been a very easier time. I don't know how good the show is. But, I mean, even on <laughs> yeah. SmackDown, even on SmackDown a couple of weeks ago, there was a whole two-minute countdown at the end of SmackDown saying the purge will commence in two minutes. But that is um, – and, and they have used that time for Ms. and Mrs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah. But also, you know, there there's, there's also always been the – you know, Raw itself also does the, hey, Raw's over, SmackDown's over, hop over to watch 205 Live or the latest issue uh, or the latest episode of, of uh, Story, Story Time. time. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Or uh, Ride Along or something like or that. Or photo shoot. Or, or photo shoot tonight with Scott Hall. Actually, I need to catch that. Um, so there's always been that kind of programming thing of like, hey, we're going to tell you a bunch of stuff to watch. But, you know, I mean, Raw itself is like, hey, tune in to Australia show. Hey, tune in to Evolution. Hey, tune in to... Uh, no, Survivor those Series. are no evolution ads. Yeah, there, there were, were none tonight. Yep, there were none. Zip zero. It's almost like we don't have to book it yet. Yeah. Which we should be. We should be. There should be something. But we did mention Crown Jewel a couple because, times in of Saudi Arabia we did, the week after Evolution. Yep, not even the week after. It's less than a week. Mm. It's less than a week after it. But yeah, let's not mention evolution at all. Mad Mike. Yeah. How much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Oh, not much. Mm-hmm. No, like honestly, I watched the whole Raw. I don't remember half of what happened because nothing really happened. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. All right. I am gonna go three and a half hours. Um, Sorg. That's impossible. Oh, I need to move the decimal. 35 minutes. There we go. There we go. I'm also, I don't think that's how time works with decimal points. But, okay. Um, but what, one thing one thing I should mention, Sorg, um, I, I was correct this week. Hmm. We got yet another Chad Gable versus the fucking Ascension match. Mm-hmm. Yet another one. That's Four weeks in a row of Chad Gable, Bobby Roode, and the Ascension. Yep. Four weeks. It's almost like we don't know what else to do with it's these It's almost people. like someone wasn't ready for some football. <laughs> uh, Matt Carlin's face at Raw is roadkill during football season. Mm-hmm. Raw is roadkill before football season. Yeah, yeah the, well, the lead-in wasn't good. <laughs> this is where we I mean this is where we get things like mac and cheese and Strowman um yeah. as as Sorg, a faction. Sorg, do you want to hear something exciting though before we sign off? Hmm. I got tickets to an independent wrestling show. You did? I did. Oh, you, uh, you're you're, and, you're and, growing as a fan. Sorg, do you know what the main event is? What is it? Do you want to know what the main event I is? I do want to know I'm, what I'm it so is. I'm so excited. Hmm. Um one Mr. the Cleaner, Kenny Omega. <gasps> Versus a one Mr. Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. And as the cherry on top, guess who else is going to be there? Corey Graves? I'm, nope. And I'm going to get him to sign my copy of Ready to Rumble. No. David Arquette is wrestling in Poughkeepsie again. Is RJ there too? No, I don't. They haven't. They haven't said who David Arquette is wrestling yet. But no, no, no. RJ City and uh, David Arquette yeah, I, are tag teams now. No, and so is Shane Helms and David Arquette. No. Yeah, they wrestled in Poughkeepsie like last month. As the Shane Hurricane. Helms, yeah, yeah, because uh, Shane Helms was David Arquette's stunt double. <laughs> Ready to rumble. That's right. That's right. Oh boy. Yeah, and I, yes, I, Tina, you heard me correct. Kenny Omega. Versus Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Have you seen uh, Kenny Omega in person? No. Oh, your life is going to change. I know. I'm. Very I love. Excited. I love that you're going to get your cleaner cherry pop. Uh, I, I'm. I'm going to go with my cousin. It's mm-hmm. going to be great. I'm going to wear my two sweet boy band shirt. Mm-hmm. It's going to be fantastic. We have seats right on the aisle. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm going to try and high-five Phoenix. Ooh, uh, Bullet Club-related story that has nothing to do with the Raw wrap-up, but I want to give it you guys here as a little Easter egg. I'm at Ooh. the Scare House uh, doing some work on Friday night, and uh, we kind of wrapped it up, and I was like, and uh, Dutters was like, hey, do you want to go through? I'm like, okay. So she puts me through the, the line, and uh, I make some new friends so I have somebody to go through with. Uh, so I just tagged onto a group and stuff. And there's this little, like, kind of whole thing, whatever. Like, it looks like a little pay window kind of thing, but, like, a small one, right? Uh, um, and I'm looking through, and I see a guy with, like, an American Nightmare t-shirt, right? Like, the bull clubby one for Cody mm-hmm. Rhodes. And I, I just, like, kind of peeked my head, and I'm like, hey, man, nice shirt. And I'm wearing, like, nothing wrestling or anything that would I – I think I'm, I'm wearing, like, my, my – uh, um, um, mushroom went up hat or something, right? And I was like, "Hey, man, nice shirt." He's like, "Yeah." He does the and he does the thing. He does the uh, the two Too sweet, sweet sign and and holds it up. I'm like, "Oh, I'm doing the thing." <laughs> oh, Sorg, Sorg. I've never been too sweeted before, oh, like by Sorg. a stranger. Like I, I, oh, I, I, I do it all the time. Some people anytime ringside have I done see, it, but anytime I see a wild bull club shirt out out in the out in public, mm-hmm. just go up. Too sweet. Um, I may or may not have embarrassed a girlfriend several times during a concert. <laughs> with too. It's like, well, it's like being on the street and you find a juggalo and say whoop whoop. Also, whoop, I made a juggalo whoop. friend at Walter White Wrestling that was on the roster. Of course you <laughs> did, because because none of those guys know how magnets work either. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey! Just because they're under 185 pounds doesn't mean they don't understand magnets. Because I don't know why that's even connected. But anyways. <laughs> Go watch Welterweight Wrestling 4 over on Fight TV, by the way, and soon coming to IndieWrestling.us. A lot of stuff happening over at IndieWrestling.us. The latest episode of Hardcore Memories talking about the Sandman. And we barely got to ECW stories, but there's a lot of background stories about working with Sandman from uh, Shirley Doe and Duke Davis. And and a lot of and I love that they're kind of um, um, relating a lot of things they're doing now with Rise Wrestling with a Y. Uh, to to what happened with ECW and how like working factions and and things like that. Um, so it's a really cool thing going over there. Go check out the Indie Wrestling US Network. That's www.indiewrestling.network. I don't know why you need the W's. I need to fix that. But but that's that, it, it works. It works. Yeah, seven day trial. Go watch the episodes. There's five episodes on, and you can watch this progressively. Did you see my my tweet earlier, Mike, uh, from Indie Wrestling that uh, uh, as they've been going, they've been dressing nicer for some reason. Um, I didn't notice that, but okay, that's odd. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I it's it's as are they progressively getting more corporate? Yeah, corporate surely do. You know, it'd be great if he was just wearing like a suit and still has the X painted on his forehead. Mm Hmm. Yeah, that would work. Seems right. Thanks so much, Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter. Yes, uh, I will be tweeting Lucha Underground at some point this week, depending on whether or not my DVR cooperates. Son of a I bitch. Didn't... Hey, you know, if you tweet... <laughs> I need to talk about Comcast cares. No, but I talked about that last week, didn't I? Yes, but I don't have Comcast. Well, oh, well, tweet your provider, <laughs> and maybe they'll just put it on on demand for you, like they did for me with Comcast no, and Lucha no, Underground. I, I have Time Warner. They don't listen to people. Oh, oh they don't. They're... They don't like people. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like people. They don't even like gatherings. Follow on Sagers. What? Follow on Sorgatron <laughs> at Sorgatron on the Twitter and everything else, Instagram, and so much more. Great discussion last week on Indie Mayhem Show about, um, I almost called it the feminist movement. No, the intergender wrestling movement. <laughs> he had a great panel going on there. And we have another one scheduled uh, we're working on actually coming up here. Not not for intergender wrestling, but there's going to be another panel type episode because I got a lot of great feedback from that. Thank you so much, everybody that's been reaching out about that as well. Thank you so much. Stay tuned if you're on the stream on our Facebook. We'll be doing our Lucha Underground show. Uh, keep an eye out everywhere. Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed on your favorite podcast provider or follow us on WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, keep it raw. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.